this is the world's smallest production camera. So, um, so as you can see, it's ultra tiny, right? This is the second. Obviously, the Mark II uh, puts it in now a lineup of cameras. We have the RX0 Mark I, now the RX0 Mark II, and a number of updates. So two things that it carries over from the original one. This is a new category of cameras. And you may look at it and think that it looks like an action cam or GoPro type camera. It's not that. Can it be used as that? Sure it can, but it's actually that and a whole lot more. So two things that really make up the difference in this camera. Ultra high quality and ultra durability, right? So ultra high quality has a Carl's Ice lens. It has a uh, Exmor RS, which is a stacked backside illuminated BSI sensor. So it has its own DRAM chip for uh, pre-processing before it goes to the image processor. And that is very important because the image processor is the same type that we use on like our uh, full frame series cameras, like the A9s and A7s, wow. right? So very high speed processing. And in doing so, it allows us to put most of those features from those cameras onto this tiny little camera as well. So being able to shoot in 4K internal now, um, higher image processing, so lower light uh, conditions, it can also get a cleaner image and it has the same skin tone science and the color science that we've had on our bigger cameras from the Venice all the way down to the A9 and out to the series of camera. The other big thing is this flip out LCD screen. So that's brand new. Yeah. So this is a really cool uh, feature, and especially if you're thinking of, uh, you know, folks who are going to be vlogging or blogging. You know, we have this little setup over here where you've got a grip, you have your start and stop, your zoom, and you can vlog and basically shoot yourself with a little mic. It does have a mic input jack, and this is controlled through the USB. So that's, that's part of it is the versatility and the image processing. The other part is the super ruggedized nature. This is milled out of bullet dual aluminum. It's a super strong aluminum. This is crush proof up to 440 pounds, um, waterproof down to 33 feet, dust proof, shock proof. I mean, it's really a super, super ruggedized camera without any need of an external housing. You can get external housings that will allow you to go deeper if you want to. But straight out of the box, this is an ultra durable, uh, ultra ruggedized camera but with higher, higher image quality than most other uh, cameras, even bigger than this on the market. And you could do this like in multi-cam kind of scenario? Or? So that's the other big difference that this camera has that a lot of the other cameras don't have. I'm gonna go down for a second and pick something up. I'm back. <laughs> so we also have what we call the camera control box. Now, networking this camera, you can network up to five cameras, which means that you can control the different features of the camera. Also, you can sync them. Uh, you can control them individually or as a group and start and stop at the same time up to five cameras of the mobile device directly. If you go from a mobile device to a wireless router, you can go up to 50 cameras. And we've utilized this in different scenarios, which I'll explain in a second. But you could also use our camera control box, which has network capabilities. So you can power the camera off the control box and use network capabilities via a LAN and a switcher or a network router. And you can control up to 100 cameras at that time. Then you can set those cameras as individual cameras or as groups. So why would you set it up as a group? We've set them up for in bullet time rigs. So both in a mobile bullet time rig by wirelessly and being able to set up 36 cameras that can all sync together and you can get that, that matrix style shoot where there's action and you can move around the action or freeze the action and move around it because you're getting different perspectives at the same time. So that's one of the applications is bullet time. The other application is just to use it as a multiple camera, right? Different positions in different places and get different perspectives. We also have developed um, what we call light field, uh, the light field array. Uh, and instead of using like a single camera with a split lens, we're actually using multiple cameras. So you can use up to 50 or 100 or even more cameras to capture light field. And that gives uh, DPs or you know, producers different opportunities. You can have a single shot and then pull different perspectives, different angles, different lighting, different depths of field. Really you can push in and out, do virtual dollies. I mean, it, it opens up the world. And then the step further than that is doing volumetric, where you're actually capturing an entire three-dimensional space and you can do a single capture of, uh, you know, maybe, maybe there's an actor that's performing. And a lot of stuff happens on green screen now, or they'll go and they'll shoot a scenic, they'll come back and they'll shoot the action in a green screen environment and then place the two over each other. Think about capturing a an environment with uh, VR and then coming and capturing an actor in volumetric and placing those two in place and being able to pull any angle of your subject or any angle of your environment by using multiple cameras. So, so you basically have a few shooters, uh, 
like run and gun and then a lot of stationary. Uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. So, and you actually, you don't even need run and gun. If you have a multiple cameras in a volumetric space, uh -huh. you don't need anybody else to shoot because you can pick any position of any camera and they all stitch together. So you actually get a higher resolution. So you, you're able to pull any position, even virtual camera positions. If you position two cameras that cross over each other, you can even say there's a camera in the middle, even if there's not. And you can pull a virtual dolly move and push in and push out as much as you like because you have all the resolution from all these cameras together. So they're all stitched together um, internally? Or? No, no, it takes a tremendous so amount of computing power to, say, to do that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's this uh, specialized software and uh, some specialist companies that will actually do that. Rendering these type of files when you have so many cameras together as well also takes a tremendous amount of render time because now you're rendering however many cameras together but then you're also rendering the stitch together. So it's, you know, it's a little bit more complex uh, but there are a number of companies out there already use, using uh, light field and, and volumetric. What is the price point again on this? So this is a $699 camera. It starts shipping this week. Um, the RX Zero Mark One has been in the market for about a year. Um, and this starts shipping this week as the second version of that, so with all the updates. When did the first one come out? Was that last year? A year ago, yeah. A year ago, wow. Yeah. Who makes the lens? Uh, who makes the lens? This is a Carl Zeiss lens. So it's a Zeiss Carl lens. Carl Zeiss, yeah. awesome. Yeah, so very high quality. It's a 24 millimeter f4 uh, fixed aperture lens. Um, it has a 20 megapixel sensor, although when you're capturing stills, it uh, crops to a 15.3 megapixels because of the small form factor. The lens is so close to the, the massive sensor, that's as much as you can get on resolution. That also does allow us, though, to add uh, electronic image stabilization in video, though, which is a, an upside as well. It is. Yeah. So it's XAVCS, uh, 24 and 30 uh, P up to 60 or 100 megabits per second. In HD, it can do up to 120. And then if we use the HFR, which is the half frame rate recording, it's four second burst, you can go 240, uh, 480, and 960. Or if you're shooting in PAL, you can do 1,000 frames a second uh, for short periods of time. Well, that is slow motion. Yeah, so 120, so it can do uh, 120p for slow motion in HD, and then using HFR, up to 1,000 frames per second in parallel, or 960 frames per second in NTSC for slow motion bursts. So the zoom and focus now, um, how does that go laterally with all this? So let me, I'll talk about this in a second. I want to mention one other thing. You're going to cut this all together, all right? All right, so uh, one of the other features that we've also included on the model is uh, interval recording. So you can record intervals for time-lapse recording, up to uh, 10,000 images. You can set it from a one second to a 60 second interval, and you can shoot that in both JPEG or RAW and pull those files in into a, uh, and create a time-lapse timeline as well. So you had a question about the focus system. Wait, wait, you what's the, while you're on the same subject, what's the media? What media do you use? What card? Oh, um, so we're using micro SD cards. It's the same as what you'd use in like a cell phone, for instance, or an action cam type. Uh, you can get up to 64 or 128 uh, gigabyte uh, SD cards. We recommend using SDXC for the higher record frame rates. So XABCS requires XDXC, uh, class 10 or above. Uh, focus. So it has a um, uh, single focus. It doesn't use continuous focus, so it's either manual or continuous. One of the other big updates over the RX Zero Mark One to the RX Zero Mark Two is the close focusing distance. This will focus in as short as 20 centimeters, which is about 7.9 inches. So a really close focusing distance. The one thing to note is that once you start shooting, your focus is fixed. So if you're shooting a still, obviously it doesn't matter. You, you know, it'll focus and you'll take the shot. But if you're shooting in video, it'll fix your focus on on the start of recording. So being able to pull, you know, once you're on a fixed focal plane, it obviously makes sense. But if you're recording things that are going to be moving in and out, it's really not ideal for that. Uh, has the uh, camera been used on any, uh, any like uh, productions? Yeah, that we would know about. Or? So, okay, so I'll go into that quickly. So the RX Zero Mark One has been used in a number of different productions. Last year, the first feature film that it was used on was Proud Mary. That was launched last February. I believe it got up to number two in the box office. Uh, they used the A7R Mark II as the primary camera. They used an F55 for slow motion, uh, a few pickup shots, and then they used six of the uh, RX Zero Mark Ones 
for multiple different things. So different camera angles, when they were doing fight scenes, they would have a lockdown with the A7R uh, Mark II, and then we'd do the slow motion with the F55, and then they would get all the different other camera angles and perspectives using the RX-0. And what it did is it made the production a lot faster and a lot easier because you don't have to reset and retake and move a camera to get a different position, you can actually pull in a lot of different cameras. And because it shoots XAVCS and S-Log, you can color grade all three of those cameras together to have a seamless integration of, of all your footage from the pro cameras uh, on the higher end even to the small little $600 cameras. Uh, in addition to that, they use them on fight scene, I mean uh, as a crash camera. I know they used an Aston Martin where they mounted six of these on the outside. Uh, they got all the different perspectives from the car chase uh, and with the car crash all the footage was salvageable and not one of the cameras was damaged even the car was totally wrecked so because of the durability yeah from, yeah because of the durability every camera was saved every card was saved um, we got the cameras back after the shoot and you could barely even notice the scratches on them they were so good they have been used in a number of other productions since. Some of them are working titles that I can't talk about. Um, but none of the RX-0 Mark IIs yet because we only start shipping this week. So I'm sure we're going to start seeing more productions come out with these as well.